my name is Zaza. I'm founder of Kahanu Fashion Social Enterprise, and this is my pop-up story. Okay. Hi, I'm Zaza. I'm from Kahanu. Um, Kahanu is a fashion social enterprise. In, my, in Kahanu, we elevate um, social organizations' merchandise and to amplify their story and create a new income <coughs> opportunity for them using fashion retail, retail fashion. So. Um, hang on, this is the second where I'm fucking up. Give me two seconds <laughs> to breathe. <laughs> so, what I'm going to share with you um, is the fact about Kahano is my eighth attempt to start a business. Reason being, um, the first step it was a flop, okay? And yeah, so it all began my story. Um, it all began with my dad. My dad was an entrepreneur, and he has been priming me to be an entrepreneur like him as early as five years old. Like literally, he tried to make me sell peanuts to my friend. Uh, you know, during um, kindergarten holidays, there will be like a festival where the kids get to choose whether you sing or paint or like those festival and you come play a shop owner. Obviously, he made me to be like a shop owner, right? So. That's all there is for me, the encounter of entrepreneurship um, because my background study is fashion and there's nothing else um, except that knowledge. And, but the thing is like the spirit to be an entrepreneur is grow and grow as I get older and I'm interested to actually start a business when I was young. And also the next thing I realized is that when you start a business as conventional as it is, you need a capital, right? But the next thing I realized is well, my capital is not enough. So I think I would need somebody to like write this along with me, right? And I was thinking that what kind of like business partner that I need? Like I was thinking that this business partner at least they need to have money. They need to also have money. And they need to also have like network and all the skills that I don't have. Because I mean like I have all of those, but I just need more, you know? So the business is not so small. And I went to this business partner hunting, but like if only there was a book to not find a business uh, business partner, maybe I should have written that. Because this is all I wanted and it's all so greedy. And like any all other rookies uh, business starter, we all like, not me all, at least me, I started with my inner circle. I tried to find my high school friends, like my college friends, I pitched them my business uh, ideas because and since I was working in the fashion industry, and I aspire to be like a brand owner, that's basically the idea that I pitched to them. And I was thinking like, um, I was like kind of like profiling what kind of um, technical background my future business partner should have to jumpstart a brand. So this is what I was thinking of. Like, oh, he's my friend, but he needs to be also a designer. Or, but it failed because we kind of like don't have this the distribution of responsibility. We both want to design because we're both from a, de uh, from a design school. But the thing is that uh, it did not work on my first uh, on my first two businesses. And then I thought like, okay, having a rich business partner is not enough, and having with the same interest is not enough. He needs they need to be like have like an opposite skill that I have, so it's not gonna like collab. Um, like overlapping. But then like, so these are the technical skills that I was looking for in a business partner. Uh, it was a media person, the friend, the IT person, the graphic designer, which all of it was flawed. And so to me, in the end, they're just like this people basically when it's running the business. And there's like this one specific interesting experience that I had was that, it's, I think it was on my sixth business, um, I thought like, I was already smarter learning from my first five failures. Um, we started like this brand, I was pairing up with this IT guy, and obviously it's not a set of skill that I was um, experienced at. He was also experienced, uh, he was also interested in fashion e-commerce, and under one year, we already have like break even, and we sold our pieces in all across Java Island, Bali, and some of these Asia countries, and business was good. And in the middle of our business, like he said, like, hey, my uncle wants to invest. He's like, I was kind of like reluctant, but like, okay, let's hear it because the uncle keeps coming to us, like, wants to grow more, basically. And we did like this um, 
proper proposal, proper presentation, and long story short, uh, I follow up to him that, how is your uncle? Is he gonna invest in here? Like, he said like, yeah, he's gonna invest as I'm two weeks, his good money's gonna come in. Okay, and I said like, finally, what's the number? Is he, is he gonna invest, you know? And, but, and then, finally, the person that I thought was my perfect business partner said like, oh, so, so why don't you give me the budget for the next collection? Um, I will see the number. Um, I'll let you know if it fits the budget. Like, he never mentioned the number to me. Like, I was like, what's going on? Like, I don't think that's how it works. You're supposed to like, disclose it to me. And then, like, obviously, the, um, the trust kind of broke. I realized that he had jumped ship from being my business partner becomes his uncle invest investment partner, you know? And it was basically the last business that um, that I tried before I finally reflect that, you know, maybe since the beginning, um, I wanted a business partner for all the wrong reasons. I mean, I can have the money from a person, the network, and the skill, but I did not have the fire in them. Just because they're interested in my um, execution plan doesn't mean they want to execute it with me. And I was beating myself up, uh, thinking that, and why am I failing a lot? Why am I like, why haven't I learned enough? Have I learned enough? And they're like, am I such a business, a bad business person that nobody wants to like write this way for me? And then I realized that maybe I have relied on their resources too much. And then uh, on my eighth business, which is now coming, kind of, I relied on myself first. I used all, um, I'm not worrying about not having enough money to start the business. I'm just going to use all the other resources that I have. And before I invite someone else to my business, which now I already have, it's been like three years running. And thank God she's still with me and is working well, hopefully not more. And, and also, I learned to let go of control. You know, when you really self-sustainable, like with your resources, when someone new comes in, you kind of like don't want to let go. You will question like, will they have the same taste in me? Will they do faster like I am? Will they like have the same hundred so called? And I learned to give this room for improvement, like for discoveries when I have like a business company. And that would be, and business lastly, if some of you like <laughs> want to be interested in start a business uh, with your close one, your inner circles, regardless if it's a family member or like a good friend, like just make a business prenup, you know? Like it's not hard to start with your close ones, but um, I think it's easier for everyone to when everything down to south. And yeah, so nobody's like then overclaim something or understand something, they'll violate it. But yeah. It could be your uncle. Thank you.